Why quit porn if it makes me feel so good? I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you why. Okay, in this video, let's talk about number one. Why do you watch porn in the first place? Why do you need to feel that good? Number two, what's happening in your brain that is making you go back for more, but at the same time, damaging your brain. And number three, what's the way out to not need to watch porn? Number one, why do you watch porn in the first place? Why do you need to feel that good? We know when people go to a pornography habit that it is self-soothing. It is for seeming pleasure and taking the edge off of the pain or discomfort. We know from the science that a consistent and frequent and especially intense pornography habit is founded in mood regulation, being able to regulate big emotions and how you feel. Those emotions can include stress and anxiety, overwhelm and boredom, and it can involve your brain going too fast and, and pushing you back into the screen because you feel stressed out. It can involve your brain going much too slow. You feel bored and want to be stimulated. So why do you feel that way? Why do you need porn to feel okay? Number two, it's because you've trained your brain to go back into the screen to get this big hit of dopamine. And the big hit of dopamine makes you feel good in the moment. What you might not realize is that it's making you feel bad in all the other moments when you're not in the screen. The science shows that you get a dopamine flood in your brain and it makes you feel good and numbed out. That's the good feeling that you want. What you don't know is that when you're not in the screen, it's increasing your anxiety. It's increasing your depression. It's giving you dysphoria. Dysphoria is feelings of unhappiness. Nothing feels good anymore because there's no dopamine flood in the real world. Your brain has been fried out. The midbrain, the reward center, is becoming desensitized every time you go back into the screen. You're also deactivating your frontal lobe. You're making it so that you can't think and you can't focus and you can't do your work anymore because there's not enough dopamine and the frontal lobe isn't working. So number three is how do you get out of this cycle? You have to realize that you think you're going back for pleasure, but it's actually an act of self-defiance. So you're going back because you are not tapping into the true authentic self. You're going back into the dark because it feels like that's where you want to be in isolation. And we know that a porn cycle can't stay alive in the light. The light is where your brain and your life is on purpose in your work, in your relationships, and in your hobbies. So what happens to a dark room when you pull the shades? When a dark room is flooded with light, the light takes over the dark. The way out is to create a life of dignity and integrity through action so that you take action steps to do your best work, be the best in your relationships, and do things that you love in your hobbies to get the dopamine out of your life so you don't have to go back into the screen to be able to get this flood of dopamine to take the edge off of your existence because your true self doesn't need to have the edge taken off. Your true self will be happy and engaged in the world. This can be tricky though because your unauthentic self is pushing you back into the screen and at the same time the screen's pulling you back in through a super normal stimulus. So if you want help on this journey please reach out to me drtrishley.com. I'm always here to help you. I have new programs of different shapes and sizes to be able to fit your needs and I am here for you. Remember control your brain or it'll control you.